What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jess. I'm doing a Kate May vlog. This is, I think, my third Kate May vlog over the past couple of years. We like to go once, maybe twice a year. My aunt has a lovely home down here. Very gracious enough to let us stay here. We're gonna have a couple days. It's Wednesday and we are here till Saturday, I believe. That's the plan. It's like one in the afternoon right now. We're gonna go over to Wawa. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Good old Wawa. He just got the chicken cheese stick and they didn't put any chicken on. So you still gotta go to Wawa when you're at the Jersey Shore. I'm gonna go back in, get the chicken. I'm gonna put on this really cute bathing suit that I just got, Laylee and Layla. We just got back from the beach, spent a couple hours there. It was very peaceful. Since it's a Wednesday, it wasn't super crowded. So that was nice, took a little body shower, and now we're gonna head out, walk around the Washington Street Mall. We have reservations at Vigiano's on sunset, 8.30 p.m. It's Thursday morning now. We had a nice dinner at Vigiano's last night. Definitely recommend that restaurant. It's not too expensive and they have good Italian food. Then we walked around a little bit, got some ice cream at Ben & Jerry's, came back, went to sleep, and now it's Thursday morning. It's kind of late actually, it's like 11 a.m. already. We're gonna head over to the Beach Plum Farm, which is one of the cutest spots in the Cape May area that I found last year. And it's been here for a while, but for some reason I just didn't know it existed until last year. I'm gonna go back there, we're gonna get some breakfast, and I think we're just gonna go to the beach later and have another beach day. We just got back from the Beach Plum Farm in West Cape May and it was really cute, just like last time. I got a breakfast sandwich there, which was really good. It was egg, bacon on a homemade brioche roll. And then he got a frittata with uh, like greens on the side, but he didn't really like it that much. He said the greens were kind of bitter. So maybe if you go there, like don't get the frittata, I don't know. But um, the breakfast sandwiches are really good and the pulled pork also looks really good. I saw some else get it. It's a little pricey for the food there, but you're definitely paying for the ambiance. There's a lot of flowers, there's pretty, gardens like surrounding the picnic tables to eat. So it's just like super aesthetic, great for photos. 
we're at the beach now and I actually recommend parking for New Jersey Ave by Philadelphia Ave or New York Ave by Philadelphia Ave because there you get free parking. The parking is all metered for Beach Ave. So you get free parking. There's a bathroom right in front of the beach here. It's like a hot dog stand too. <laughs> the hot dog stand. But this is a good spot to go if you're looking for free parking for the beach. We're gonna get a little lunch at George's place. It's like a late lunch, it's already 4.30. We just had lunch at George's place. Really good. I had the cheesesteak and he had a chicken gyro. Definitely recommend that restaurant for breakfast or lunch. I think they do dinner as well. But now we're walking over to the Washington Street Mall because I really want a cookie from the Kate Mate Peanut Butter Co. It's starting to drizzle a tiny bit, but it really isn't that bad. Friday morning now we just got up and we're gonna head over to breakfast and then around 5 30 p.m we're planning to do a sunset sail with my aunt and her sailing crew so that should be nice it's very clear skies today hot sunny so it should be a really beautiful sunset just been super chill here Kate May is always just a nice chill vibe beach trip driving back from the Mad Batter for breakfast and it was really good. I would actually rate that like a 4.6 for the breakfast food. We both thought our meals tasted really good. We got the oat pancakes with blueberries and we got a side of pure maple syrup. And it's really hard to find places that have real maple syrup down here in South Jersey, I feel like. Yeah, they had real maple syrup, which was a plus. And the prices weren't too bad. It was like a cute ambiance. We were sitting by the window, so we had a nice view of the outside street. It's a little later in the day now. We're gonna head on the sailboat soon with my aunt and the sail crew and her friends. I think there's gonna be like 10 of us on the boat. Just got ready, I'm wearing my Jerf Avenue Summerberries headband that I'm obsessed with that I just got. Saturday morning now, so our last day here in K May. We had a beautiful sunset sail last night with everyone. The weather was just absolutely perfect. The sunset was so clear. That was really nice. And then we got dinner at Mayer's afterwards, which is a casual like seafood restaurant. They have crab fritters we got, they have scallops there, mussels, clams, a lot of stuff like that. It's our last day. We're gonna head out. I think we're gonna get a smoothie at Pliables for breakfast, like a late breakfast, early lunch. And we're gonna go to the beach. Uh, we're also gonna check out Congress Hall. I was like walking around around there when we come. It's so cute there.
We're about to head home now from Cape May, but we had the best couple days here. Always a great time in Cape May. It's a great weekend trip or a great week trip. But I'm gonna end off the vlog here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you all in the next video.